Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Smoked Beef Cheeks. Well today we're going to be smoking up a fantastic cut of beef. It's the beef cheeks. Now to me, the texture is very similar to short ribs. It's really fatty and supple, but because of the size, it's got great bark. Lots of exposure to the smoke, lots of exposure to the seasoning. Speaking of the seasoning, we're going Texas style today. Very simple, salt, pepper, garlic, you know the deal. If you like bark, you're gonna love beef cheeks. So we've got a few of these beef cheeks here weighing in at about seven and a half pounds. As you can see, on the meaty part of it, there's a ton of intramuscular fat, which is great. We know that always yields a really juicy end product, but there's also a ton of connective tissue, some really hard fat in here. We've got a lot of trimming to do. Now, the great thing about beef cheeks is you can get these for less than $3 a pound, but you're gonna lose quite a bit in the trimming process, and that's where you kind of even that out. So you can see on this, we've kind of got three pieces. I'm just gonna separate them to make this easier. And then as we start to work this, it's totally up to you how much trimming you wanna do. If you leave a lot of this stuff behind, you're gonna have a whole bunch of fat in there. In fact, if, as we start to trim this, I'll just show you. So there's really no meat in the center of all that fat, it's just a big old hunk of fat. Now, you can chew on that later or you can get rid of it now, totally up to you. Because of the different layers of connective tissue in here, there's a little bit of silver skin, there's fat, you're not gonna get it all, you're just not. If you're lucky, you may get a piece that's been trimmed up pretty nice for you beforehand, but chances are you're gonna wanna do this yourself just for money's sake. And that means it's totally up to you how much of that stuff you wanna take off. Now on the other side here, what we have is essentially a thin layer of fat, a thin layer of meat, some more fat, some more meat. You're gonna spend all day trimming it. I would just say, go ahead and score this up, season it, smoke it, and deal with it after. By putting some score marks in here, that gives us the opportunity to really let the rub grab on to the fat and the meat that's exposed. Now, as we get to the center section of the meat here, you can see lots more meat, lots of that intramuscular fat. This is the piece that's gonna make you smile. So we'll trim this up as well, get rid of some of that connective tissue on the surface, but we're especially looking for any really thick pieces like this silver skin here. You're just not gonna get it all on a cut of meat like this. So do your best to get rid of whatever you got access to. We're not gonna tear this thing apart just to get rid of a little bit of silver skin. All right, we're all trimmed up now. I, you can see the different portions of the cheek here. Uh, kind of got that, that fatty piece. This is the really meaty piece. This is where you're gonna get the most meat out of the cheek and then the smaller scrap. And then back here, this is our waste pile. So this is why it costs less than ground beef because you're gonna throw a little bit away. So now we're gonna get into the seasoning process, which is gonna be really easy. We're starting off with some mustard as a binder, our Dijon mustard from Coslix, great bite to this mustard, and just an easy way to get our rub to stick to the cheeks. So just a thin layer of mustard on all surfaces. And then we'll get to our rub. Now for our seasoning today, we're using the Killer Hogs Texas Brisket Rub. Great flavor profile for beef cheeks, especially when you're doing something as straightforward as just smoking these open on the pit all day long. Now the great thing about smoking these open is you get that fantastic bark that we talked about earlier. But the other thing is, since they're so small, they really smoke pretty quick for a slow smoked meat. There's a lot of stuff to break down in there. A lot of that intramuscular fat that we've got to really render out. But because of the size of these cheeks, we're gonna get it done in about five hours or a little less. So we talked about the flavor profile earlier, but just to reiterate, we've just got basically a lot of black pepper, salt, some garlic. There's even a little bit of parsley in here, but because of the size of the rub, you get that extra added bark to it because it's got a little bit more chunkiness to it. And that's kind of what defines our Texas style beef cheeks here. Today we're smoking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill, running at 275 with pecan and cherry pellets. All right, we're going up here on the second shelf, complete indirect heat going on right now. And we've got the baffle pulled all the way out, again, just so that we can get really even indirect heat. Now, some of these thinner pieces that are really thin on the edges, I'm just gonna roll those up so that they cook more evenly with the bigger pieces of the cheek. And for now, that's it. This is really easy. There's no wrapping, there's no changing temperature. We just let them smoke until they're almost fall apart tender.
But we're about four hours into the cook now and our beef cheeks are just about done. Let's take a look. Now going by the probe, we're at 207 in this big guy back here, but really what's more important, let's start with these little ones up here, is just how tender they are. When we put a probe in there, there should be very little resistance. And that's what we're seeing right now. I mean, this should feel like butter. So a little resistance from the bark on the outside, but the meat itself is just super tender. In fact, if we take some forks here, you should be able to just kind of pull that apart. Look at that. All that fat just melted inside. So we're gonna take these off and let them rest for a little bit here. Smells like beef, smells like smoke, smells like pepper. I can't wait to give these a taste. Just wrap this up fairly loose and let those rest. We've given the beef cheeks about 20 minutes of rest time. Now it's time to decide what to do with them. Now you could make tacos out of these. In fact, we're probably going to do that in a future episode. But another great way and very simple way to serve this, what we're going to do today is just make a very simple barbecue sandwich. Now we kind of showed earlier that if you want to, you could just shred this stuff right up and do a shredded sandwich. Today we're going to give these a chop. And these pieces have really broken down. Look at all the juiciness in that, where that fat has just melted. You could pull this stuff apart easy. And boy, listen to the bark as we cut through that, just crunching away. Smoking those open, so juicy, even after four hours. Let's check it out. Oh man, just melts in your mouth. Big time beef flavor. That Texas flavor profile for sure salt and pepper, that pepper really jumps out at you. Now I'm gonna go with a little bit of mustard on the bottom bun here. Get some toasted brioche, add some of that tang. This is that same mustard that we used as a binder on the beef cheeks. Pile on the meat. I'm gonna to top it off with some firebug barbecue sauce. Not too much, just a little bit of sweetness here. And we add in that spicy dill, garlicky. Nice crunch, nice brininess. All right, I'm gonna dig in, find out how we did. Hmm. I really like that added touch of sweetness from the firebug. Those pickles, the fantastic with the fattiness of the beef cuts right through and balances everything out. I mean, it's crunchy, but then that beef just melts in your mouth. Everything's really balanced. That's just a nice barbecue sandwich. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all of the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.